One of the great challenges of running a steel industry is how we use energy and waste gases. At no time more so than when energy prices are so high and the challenges of climate change are right upon us. Traditionally in Port Albert Steelworks where we are today we've used a lot of our processed gases uh, to become self-sufficient in energy and today we've come to one of the service boilers here by the hot mill to talk about a project uh, that we've been putting in place to improve our energy self-sufficiency and the use of our waste gases. Uh, I'm joined now by Imran Shabir and Jordan Boyer. Imran, I'm going to come to you first. We're standing here in front of one of the service boilers, I understand. What exactly does this do in the, in the site here? So these service boilers are used to produce steam from water by utilizing our uh, steel making process gases. And then this steam, we uh, generate electricity and part of the steam goes to other areas for services. Yeah, so we can see lots of the pipe work around the uh, boiler behind us and as you said there's an on-site power plant where we turn that into electricity and for those who may not realise some of that steam as you said gets used across the plant. Now Jordan if I can come to you, um, as Imran said this uses the processed gases um, but I understand that those on their own are sometimes not enough. What's, what's, the, what's the normal process before we put this project in place, what was the process uh, for, for, for adding value to those gases you might say? Yeah so the service boilers primarily use blast furnace gas. Um, blast furnace gas is a very useful fuel, we use it throughout the works but there are times where the calorific value, so that's the energy in the gas, can drop below the certain uh, design limits of the boiler. So historically to combat that we've um, maintained a very large amount of secondary fuel natural gas. Obviously natural gas is very high in terms of cost and also high in terms of carbon um, but we've realised that there's a better way to manage it so that, we, so that we don't have to use as much natural gas in the process. So what's been the answer? What's the project you two guys have been working on? So we've uh, just implemented a new uh, £380,000 project and what that project does is we use the latest CV analyzer technology. Uh, we measure the calorific value of the blast furnace gas and we only inject the perfect quantity of natural gas when that calorific value is low. So instead of uh, using a very large amount of natural gas constantly, it's a very small amount infrequently and that's reduced our overall natural gas by 80%. Wow, 80%, and it's, you've, you've explained it so simply, it sounds a straightforward process, but I'm sure it's not, and uh, you know, that's quite an investment, um, but it makes quite an impact, doesn't it, in, in not only our cost, but our emissions. What sort of impact are we talking here? Most certainly, so um, this project will actually reduce uh, our overall CO2 emissions by 10,000 tonnes per year, um, and just putting it as something hopefully people can understand, that's the equivalent uh, of the emissions from flying an airplane around the world 888 times so we're talking a very uh, significant amount of, uh, of carbon. So is this fully up and running now and can we do it to other parts of the plant? Uh, this is fully up and running. Um, it's been up and running since uh, May of this year. Um, it has run perfectly well. Uh, there are areas where we could do similar things but there are other priorities which we, we are prioritising now. So um, for example we at times don't use, utilise all the boss gas we make during the process so what we're looking at now is a £2 million capex project um, where we can add flexibility and additional consumer and use the boss gas which is currently flared to atmosphere. And in doing that, um, we can reduce our natural gas input even further. So there you have it. It's a big project on its own and the savings are massive, both in terms of cost, in terms of energy use, and maybe more importantly, in terms of impact on the environment. Listen, guys, thanks very much for taking us around very briefly the scheme today. Uh, great to see it operational and uh, we'll come back when there's more projects like it, I'm sure. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank, Thank you. you.